What is going on everybody? It's me, Noel, and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install and use NetPass. And if you're wondering what's up with the title and why I decided to remake this video, even though I already did a video on how to install and use NetPass, well, that's because in case you're unaware, there was a new update to NetPass, which is version 5.1. And as you can see, there's the NetPass buddy right there, which is pretty cool. And there's also a home theme to the NetPass, which I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to have it on your home screen. So yeah, let's get started. To update NetPass, go to Universal Updater, which is this app right here. And you need to have a modded 3DS or 2DS in order to have NetPass. Otherwise, if your 3DS or 2DS is not modded but want NetPass, then stop this video and go to the written guide, 3ds.hacks.guide. The written guide is obviously updated and it should be easy when it comes to installing custom firmware when you follow the written guide. Okay, here we go. So here's NetPass. As you can see, it says version 5.1. What's new? Add a new icon and fix report screen crashing. And if you do not have the Universal Updater app, which I'm launching here right now, then I'll put the link in the description down below and you need to download it by using the FBI app to scan the QR code to re-download Universal Updater. Otherwise, if you do not have all the homebrew apps, then go to the finalizing setup through the written guide to get all your homebrew apps back. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, there's two ways that you can download or update NetPass. You can download it in a 3DS X file, which goes on to the homebrew launcher or in the CIA file, which goes on to your home screen. I personally go in the CIA, that's because it's a lot better having it on your home screen. So let's go ahead and uh, update NetPass even though I already did it. And it should take a while, not too bad. It should take a few seconds. And make sure your 3DS or 2DS is connected to the internet, otherwise if it's not then you cannot do this. After updating or installing NetPass, regardless if I update or download NetPass in a 3DS X file that goes onto the homebrew launcher or in the CIA that goes on the home screen, let's go ahead and launch NetPass. We're going to do it in the home screen because I like having it there. So go ahead and launch NetPass. And be patient because it does take a while. As you can see, version 5.1 got language 1, uploading outbox. 1 slash 9 done. If you do get an error code, I'll put the GBA temp link in the description down below if you want to have a look at the error codes. And it does take a while like I said. I'm gonna pause the video so be right back. Here we are, we are back. I didn't press any buttons so here we go. And this is the theme to the home. And there's six locations you can select. There's train station, plaza, mall, beach, arcade, or cat cafe. And yes, if you use NetPass for the first time and you select one location, and after 10 hours has passed, if you decided to choose the same location like cat cafe, as you can see, you'll get a message saying that you cannot enter the same location twice in a row. I remember the older update before these three locations. I get to choose the train station over and over again, but with the new version 0.5.1, then I cannot choose it again. So if I wanted to do it again, then I had to choose a different location. And after 10 hours have passed, then I can choose the same location again. So let's go ahead and uh, do the beach. And if you're wondering what's the settings, let's go ahead and uh, launch it. You can change the language to English, system language, whatever. You can uh, report a user, download personal data, delete personal data. I don't know what's up with these flags, but I really don't care. But let's go ahead and go to the beach. It should take a while. But again, make sure your 3DS or 2DS is close to the Wi-Fi router. Otherwise, if it's not close, then it's gonna have error problems. Enter location three, checking inbox. And if you're wondering what's up with the nine and why some people out there have their numbers different, like let's say uh, four, well, that's because it's based on the street pass games that you turned on. So if I deactivate street pass for Super Mario 3D Land, for instance, I remember the inbox used to be uh, 10, then it will drop down to nine. And as you can see, 
there's three options I can select. I can choose exit to close the app, settings, if I wanna report a user, what you're seeing right here. Pretty cool. And if you're wondering what's up with the back ally, it's based on let's hustle some more passes. So basically, if you want more street passes on a 3DS game, like let's say uh, I want more street pass like Mario Party Island Tour, I select on it and it's gonna do the checking inbox again. And you can do this five times, but however, if you use it for the first time, then the play coin is uh, free. However, if you decided to do it again, it's gonna cost two play coins. Purchase a pass. I'm gonna do Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Does it again. And if I do it again, it's gonna go by even. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So let's do it again for Mario Party Island Tour. Cause I wanna get some more street pass tags for Mario Party Island Tour. Although I could do Me Plaza, but I'm obviously gonna get 10, so yeah. Do it again, six. Let's uh, do Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Okay, it's doing the same thing. Back alley again, play going by I even again, go by eight. We'll do Mario Party again. And then last but not least, let's spend 10 play coins on Street Pass Me Plaza. So let's do that. After using the back alley five times, as you can see, it is grayed out. I cannot use it again, so if I want to do it again, I had to wait about 10 hours. And after that, if I select a different location, then I can purchase a pass with free play coins for one time. So yeah, I cannot do it again. I can only do it five times. But yeah, now let's go ahead and exit that pass. If you do it in a 3DS X file, then it goes back to the home one. And yes, of course, just like the previous uh, updates, if I want to choose a different location again, even though I choose beach, then I have to wait about 10 hours and I'll show proof again. Then I have to pause the video again. As you can see, after launching NetPass again, I cannot choose a different location, but we're still in the same location, which is the beach. So yes, you have to wait about 10 hours to choose another location. And after 10 hours have passed, I cannot choose the same location beach. I have to choose a different one like the train station for instance. So yes, I cannot do that. So let's go ahead and close Net Pass. And we'll go to Street Pass Me Plaza. And let's go to notifications and see how many we have so far. Make sure you check your notifications after using Net Pass. As you can see, 10 Street Pass tags, 7 Street Pass for Tomonachi Live, 8 for Mario Party Island Tour, and almost 10 for Mario Kart. 3 for Kirby's Extra Epic Tour. Now let's go ahead and go to the new plaza. After going to the plaza gate, if you're wondering why I'm using the quick plaza over the regular plaza, well that's because I have 1000 fantastic ratings, so yes, that is the reasoning why I'm using the quick plaza, as I'm not going to use the regular one anymore. So as you can see, I got some street pass tags via NetPass. So I'm Lily from Arizona, hello world, Saul from United States, Saul Goodman, Fong from Texas, welcome back 3DS, Void from California, which yes, I am living in California, street pass pals, Aaron from California, I'm in your walls. Rory from Pennsylvania, NetPass Stand Forever, Ethan from California, The Office Sucks, and oh, I got a new birthday, Gamer Mash from Minnesota, Exist on NetPass, I'm Alex from Minnesota, Roll Out, me from Georgia, Hiya Pal, and let's check their street pass tags, cause why not? Oh, Lily has... 1,570 street pass tags. Saul only has uh, one started street pass in Plaza for the first time. Fom 136. Void 28. Aaron 61. Rory 414. Ethan special me 
but no straight pass tag. Gamer Mash, almost 500 straight pass tags. Congratulations. And here's my me, as you can see, 1,000 fantastic ratings and 10,394 straight pass tags, almost to 10,400. Yes, if you have not saw my video of I reached 10,000 straight pass tag, I'll put the video link in the description down below. Here's Alex, five street pass tags, and me, 26 street pass tags. And the uh, me plaza games that I'm currently playing is me Forest Warriors Way, Ultimate Angler, Market Crashers, Slot Car Rivals, and Battleground Z. What happened to the rest? They're in the game fault. So I put these uh, me plaza games in the game fault that I don't play anymore, like Flower Town as I completed their plaza ticket, Monster Manor. Yes, I have 100% completed this game. So I don't play this game anymore as I got all the plaza tickets. Feed me. I don't play this anymore as I completed all of the foods for the feed me. Ninja launcher. I completed all the gold medals. And me trek. I completed all his treasures. So the only games I played is these. So let's go to Warriors Way and Battle of Their Army. So here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five challengers. So let's go ahead and battle their army. Ten. Lily, you have 3,000 army. Sorry, Lily. I'm battling your army. Even though you almost have 4,000. I remember I made a short video that I street passed someone with the 40 army which is very weak so yeah all right let's see how i organize my army in case if you're wondering this is how i organize it so let's choose rock horses oh i still win I don't care, but I still win. Hello, Saul. You only have one yourself. Welcome. Fawn's army of 131,000. Sorry, Fawn. I'm battling your army. If you're wondering why I'm battling their armies even though I have 9 million maximum well that's because well I like battling their army and of course regardless if they're weak or not I don't spy on their enemies even though they're weak so let's choose oh I use archer but the enemy chooses horses I just don't care about it yeah Take that. Void's army of 23,000. I'm battling your army. To battle. Sorry, Void. I won. 4,000. Yay. Aaron, 63. Rory, 103,000. Sorry, I'm battling your army. Let's try spying on their enemy, because why not? It's funny. Let's see what Rory is going to select. Infantry. Spears. So let's choose archers. Yeah.
Ethan, 10,000. Yes, if you street pass a special me and you're playing Warrior's Way, the special me will give you 10,000 troops. Sorry, Gamer Mash, I'm not about your army. You have 1 million, which is weak. I really don't care, but I still win. Oh yeah, if you press the start button, you can return to the tile screen, in case you did not know that. Now let's go to my record because why not? Look at my process. Go to my records. So obviously I'm in first place. Mike is in second place from California, my brother, my sister, my Japanese 3DS, my spare red 2016 old 2DS, my older brother, Green Day, Marina from Fry's Land, never heard of that country, Steven from Fry's Land too, Saxony country, Dominic, Japan Fleek, Triangulo Y from Aragon, Silent Tim from Baden, Germany, I don't know what that is. Don Channel from Virginia. Mikey Boy from Delaware, England. Harry. M. Jar Pow from Limburg. JT from Illinois. And last but not least, Game Guy from Texas. And the mightiest monarch is, I don't know this person's name, but from Japan, Hokkaido, and this guy is obviously a cheater. So that's it for the video, as I'm gonna wrap it up right now. Yes, if you're tired of bringing your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS out in the public, like shopping malls or Monterey Bay Aquarium, as I tried to get a street pass at Monterey Bay Aquarium, but I didn't, but only can get street passes through events like getting street passes at Universal Studios, Disneyland, theme parks, or gaming convention centers like PAX West or PAX East. Well, there's this one application called NetPass, which relies on using the internet connection, and it's the new street pass relay zone. So yes, go download NetPass, you can download it through Universal Updater or through their GitHub or GBA temp by scanning the QR code. And if you do enjoy this video as a tutorial, leave a like, subscribe, and then I'll see y'all next time. And by the way, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I'm about to reach 500. So yes, thank you all for your support. And we'll see you all later.